What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I have an update video for you guys. After posting my last video, which was my new salon suite tour, I had so many questions from you guys on that video and on my blog, just basically asking me some questions about how I got started, um, how I was able to branch out on my own and create my own salon suite, and just some different advice and tips on getting started and stuff like that. So I'm going to be answering all of the questions that I got from you guys in today's video. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So one of the first questions that I got was if I was renting that space out as part of a booth rent situation in a salon or if that space was actually inside my home. That was a really good question because I forgot to clarify that in my tour video. But that is actually an office space that I have converted into a nail suite. And that kind of goes into a couple of the other questions that I got was basically how I created that. So in my small town and all around me, there's really nowhere where you can find a salon suite or buildings that house salon suites. So if you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically like an office building that has multiple spaces that are all set up to do beauty services. So mainly it's like it has sinks and it has chairs and it has cabinetry and it's set up so that you can do like full cosmetology services in all of these spaces and they each have a communal um, bathroom, kitchen, kitchenette area and like a waiting area and then you all use the same entrance and exit. Well that kind of thing is mostly found in bigger cities and like I said I don't have anything like that around where I'm from so I knew I wanted something like that because when you have an office space or you have a salon suite, you're able to work for yourself, but you don't have as big of overhead as you would if you were owning your own building and owning a full service salon. So I knew I didn't want to work under anyone anymore and I knew I wanted my own space. And I know you guys, if you have been a subscriber of mine for a little while now, you have heard my stories from different salons where I've worked. So. I definitely wanted to branch out and I was getting creative one day figuring out what in the world I could do to make my own space and I realized that I didn't want to do it out of my own home and I was like why not go check out some office spaces, just some areas where I could be on a main street or a local square or something like that and <clears throat> be easy to get to and still be local and it be a nice space. So I found an office space which is basically one room inside of a building that has several of these same type of rooms and I checked it out. I really liked the space, outside area, the parking, everything was perfect and it was on a pretty busy street which was also good for a brand new business and I realized that I could convert it into a nail suite. So I am someone that does natural services and I'm all about cleanliness and healthiness and I'm really, really a stickler when it comes to sanitation and stuff like that. So I knew I didn't necessarily need plumbing inside my room for jetted foot spas and things like that because I'm all about one-time use and stuff like that. You guys have heard that in my other videos. So basically, I put a fresh coat of paint on the walls, or three coats to be exact. I completely converted everything, like added in my manicure table, my pedicure chair, put all of my decor on the wall, put all of the furniture together myself, and I have created a nail suite. I'll go ahead and link that tour video down below if you guys haven't seen that yet so you guys can know what in the world I'm talking about. But I think it looks really, really good from before it was just a basic plain office space into a nail salon. So I wanted to go ahead and share some of my advice that I have for starting your new business and for kind of getting the word out because I had some people contact me through my blog and through Instagram and had a few questions that pertain to that. So I'm going to try to answer all of that together. Basically, you guys know it's so important to get your name out there and to get your new business in front of other people. So social media, I've always been a big, big advocate of Facebook. Everyone is on Facebook. Facebook ads are actually perfect for someone that has a new business because you can tailor your ads locally. You can tell them exactly what is the radius of your business of who you want the ad put in front of. You can do the age, the gender, their specific interest, everything like that. And you can also give it your budget so you can spend as little or as much as you'd like and you can run it for as long as you'd like. Facebook always Facebook also puts the ads that you run on Facebook onto Instagram as well. So that is a second platform where local people can see your new business. So that's one of the first things I did to just go ahead and get my business name in front of people because I was brand new. And 
Another thing you can do is go ahead and start getting together your signage and anything that you're going to use for advertising and marketing. So I, I immediately created business cards. I immediately created yard signs and the yard signs are just like stuck in the ground, like right by the sidewalk on the super busy street. So everyone knows, hey, I'm open. I'm here. Come on in. That kind of thing. That really helps if your business that would like foot traffic and like walk-in traffic, so that's really helpful. I went ahead and got the vinyl um, signage on my entrance um, to my actual nail suite like hallway, and then the vinyl on my actual door, so everything is matchy-matchy. You know um, when you see this sign or you see this name, that brand, it, it matches everywhere on my Facebook, on my Instagram, and on the actual building of my suite. So. It's really helpful to be cohesive like that because once people start seeing your name in different places, online and in person and on a business card, they can know exactly who you are. Um, so that's definitely number one, first thing you need to do. I like to do things like running um, specials and different kind of programs for my clients. So I have things like you get 15% off if you refer someone. So if you tell your cousin to come by, she comes by, she tells me that you sent her, she gets 15% off for being a brand new client and you get 15% off because you sent her my way. I also do little things like 10% discounts whenever you're in my salon and you check in on Facebook because that helps me as far as get my salon in front of other people on Facebook that I did not get in front of beforehand and then that client gets a discount off their services. So it's kind of like a win-win situation. So it'd really be good to just sit down and brainstorm fun little things that you can do that your clients obviously save money so that they're more inclined to book with you and then it also helps get your name out there. I also like to do loyalty programs. So say if you come to me five times, you have earned a free blank. So it can be a free manicure, a free pedicure, it could be a free product, anything like that. That makes sure that your clientele that you do have is more inclined to stick with you because they're being rewarded for being so loyal. So definitely think about deals, discounts, loyalty, referral programs, things like that because you want to set yourself apart from all the other nail salons or hair salons that they could potentially go to. You want to make them know that you care about them and you're different and you're kind of special in a certain way and you're setting yourself apart from everyone else. I also got a few questions about how to be successful if you are starting out brand new, whether that be inside a salon, having your own salon, or being a, a mobile nail tech. How can you ensure that you basically don't fall flat on your face or you're not in the hole for so long, you know? So um, a lot of the things that I just mentioned before is obviously going to help you get your feet off the ground. You're going to be in the red when you begin, but it's up to you just to keep confident that you're going to make it and just to stay consistent and do not give up. Just keep with it. I promise you, you will do awesome. Something that I think is super valuable is to give your business value. So you want to basically find a niche. I think this is a really good point to make to your clients. Something that is going to help you stand apart from everyone else, like I touched on earlier. Um, you want to give them a reason to come to you instead of someone that might be way closer to their house or someone that they might, might already be going to and they're just kind of used to it. You want to give them a reason to stop doing the norm and actually come to you and try you out. So my little niche or whatever you, want, you would want to call it is I prefer natural services. So I mean natural in a few different ways. Natural being I only like to work on natural nails. So I don't like to work on hard gel and acrylic and I just want to use your nails and make them gorgeous and perfect what you already have. And I mean natural in the sense also that I love to use more natural and organic ingredients on your skin. So I'm um, using less harsh chemicals and the things that you would find in a typical nail salon since I don't use monomer, I don't use acrylic, and you're not going to be smelling those harsh smells. It's going to be a pleasant experience whenever you're in my salon, and I like to use things that are organic, um, organic ingredients, organic oils, and I even use additives like real rose petals, organic pear, um, organic sugar scrubs, things like that because that helps me be differentiated and it helps me stand out a little more and it adds value to my services. So you might want to think about what is important to you, what is your mission statement for your brand, for your business, and that will help guide you about what is going to make me different. So that is a really, really important tip. 
But yeah, I think that is everything that I'm going to cover in today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.